Hello and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to take a look at receiving a slow scan television image transmitted by the International Space Station. The radio I'm going to use for this is my SDR Play RSP Duo. Now you don't need the Duo for this, you could use pretty much any software defined receiver. So for example my SDR Play RSP 1A would work just fine for this as well. But this video is going to feature the RSP Duo and the SDR Uno software. So let's cut over to screen share mode and take a look at how I've got my software set up. So first off, I'm going to mention that we're not doing this live. In other words, the ISS is not passing overhead right now and it's not transmitting any SSTV images that I know of at the moment. Uh, what I did was I actually recorded this uh, maybe about a week ago when the ISS was transmitting and was overhead. I actually overheard a conversation on the local two meter repeater that said that the thing was you know, in range. So I quick ran down to the shack here and I didn't have time to get everything set up. I just knew I had enough time to get the software up and hit record so that I could grab the signal. And then what I did is I played it back later into the decoding software and grabbed the image that way. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to replay that recorded file. doesn't matter whether we're using that file or this is happening live. The process is pretty much the same. So having said all that, you can see that I've got SDR Uno up and running. Now again, instead of activating the radio live by hitting the play button like you normally would, what I'm going to do here is go up to the options button and I'm going to choose select input and I'm going to choose select wave file. And you can see here it opens up my documents folder and I'll scroll down and I've got a bunch of wave files here. Now before I choose one I want to mention that these are not traditional wave files. You can't just open these up in a media player and hear audio. These are files that are created specifically by SDR Uno and can only be played back in SDR Uno. So having said that I'm going to choose this file. You can see it's got the largest file size. This is the one that I know I was able to capture a complete image and it's fairly clean. So now that the file is open you can see there's some information over here in the record pane and to play it back I would just start by hitting the green play button. But before I do that I want to set the radio up into FM mode. Because now even though I've loaded the file into the memory panel the radio still remains in whatever mode it was in uh, when I last used it. So I'm going to go over to FM. I want to make sure that the filter is set to 20k. Now you'll also notice that the frequency changed to 145.800. That's the frequency that the ISS typically transmits on. So we should be good to go. I'm going to hit play and you should start to hear the signal that was transmitted by the ISS back on August 3rd. So that's what the signal sounds like coming from the ISS and you can see here it's fairly strong. There was a little dropout in the beginning and as we go through the process you'll see that the signal did fade in and out a little bit but for the most part it stayed strong like this through the whole image. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to back this file up so it's back at the beginning and I'm going to change the output settings on SDR Uno so that the audio goes to the virtual audio cable that I have installed. And you can think of the virtual audio cable as just that. It's just a virtual cable that connects pieces of software together. And we're going to connect the input of the cable to the output of SDR Uno. That's what we're doing here. So now that I have that selected, if I push play again here, you can see the signal. Things are happening here, but we can't hear the audio because it's being piped to that virtual audio cable. So next up I'm going to launch a freeware app called MMSSTV. You can see I've got it pinned to my desktop. And that just pops up here and you can see there's some various buttons and things like that going on here. So we really don't need to fool with any of this stuff. The program will just kind of automatically work and do its thing. But the one setting that I do need to change is to go under the options pull down and go to setup MMSSTV. And then under the MISC tab, we're going to go to the sound card. I'm going to make sure that the input to MMSTV is the output of that virtual audio cable that we were piping the audio from SDR Uno into. So you can see I've got that selected. I'll say OK. And we'll just kind of set this over here off to the side so we can keep an eye on it. And now if I hit play, 
you should start to see some things happening down here. Okay, so that's pretty much it. You can see that the image was decoded over here. Now, you may have noticed along the way that there were a few fades in the signal strength, and those kind of correlate to these pixelated lines that you see in the image. But otherwise, I've got a pretty good image here. Now, I forgot to mention it in the beginning of the video, so I'll mention it now. The antenna that I used to receive this is not an antenna <laughs> dedicated to this frequency. In fact, it was my 40 and 80 meter fan dipole that just happened to be already connected to the RSP Duo. Like I said, I kind of rushed into this and I didn't have time to switch over to a proper antenna. If I had done that, I'm guessing that the signal would have been a bit stronger and some of these dropouts may not have happened. So that's pretty much it. Really, all you need is any software defined receiver and a piece of software to run on it. it doesn't have to be SDR Uno or uh, an SDR Play device, could be anything. And then all you have to do is pipe the output of the SDR application into MMSS TV, and you'll have an image like I'm showing here. So, one last thing I'll show here is a way to save these images if you want to keep them. What you can do is you can click the program tab and just open up Microsoft Paint from there. Or you can pretty much open any image editing software that you choose. This just happens to be the most convenient for me. So then all you have to do is go back to MMSS TV, right click over here in the image field, choose the copy command, and now it's in the paste buffer. So we'll go over here to MS Paint, click paste, and you can see we have the image right here. So then all you have to do is do a file, save as, and you can save the image to your hard drive. Okay, so that's pretty much gonna wrap things up for receiving a slow scan television image from the International Space Station. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. And if you'd like to support my channel in another way, please consider visiting my Amazon store, which you'll find linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.